Well, hello there, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be your second half of May general reading. So if you're new here, my name is Melissa and I do Zodiac, re Zodiac readings, yeah, Zodiac tarot readings. And um, I also do metaphysical Mondays. So every Monday I post a video on a metaphysical topic. If that's something that you're interested in, the playlist is linked in the description box below. So check that out if you're interested in, you know, crystals and smudging and meditation and that kind of stuff. So I will continue shuffling. I already started shuffling, but I'm going to keep shuffling while I talk. All right. So um, I did want to let you know that we're getting pretty close to a thousand subscribers. So when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to give away a free personal reading. So you could ask me a question um, and I will look at the cards and see what they say. I don't do readings for people right now. Um, I don't offer paid readings, I guess is more accurate. Um, but uh, so it's kind of a rare thing. So if you are interested in that, make sure you hit subscribe and um, I will be pulling a winner as soon as I get to a thousand subscribers. All right. One more shuffle. Okay. So um, while I do this last shuffle, I'm going to remind everyone this is a general reading, so I will be connecting to energies. They come in and out from all over the place. Um, so there will be messages for more than one person. That's not how I meant to shuffle it. That's interesting. This is usually how I clear the deck, so I'm going to do this carefully. <laughs> okay, so um, if something does not resonate for you, then it's probably a message for another person. So please take what resonates for you and leave the rest behind for them. All right. The bottom of the deck is going to determine the overall energy of the reading, what we may be talking about. Since we don't have a question to go off of, are you ready? All right. Ooh, strength in reverse. All right, so we have a reverse strength card, which means weakness. So what is the weakness that uh, we are dealing with right now? So, uh, I mean, there's really no other detail. It's the strength card in reverse. So. Either we're displaying some weakness, we're going through a weak period. Um, the rest of the cards will tell us what the story is all about. All right, so. What is Pisces dealing with right now? Pisces current situation. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. The Knight of Cups. And the Six of Swords reversed. Okay, so. Um, Are we feeling weak and going back to somebody that we uh, decided we didn't want to be with? Um, that's what I see here. I see um, reverse Ten of Pentacles and reverse Six of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles is normally um, a very happy card. It not, not happy emotionally, but a very fulfilled, um, a fulfilled card. Um, but it's reversed. So I feel like there was something there that wasn't quite um, fulfilling to you. And I think this weakness that we saw and the first card is causing you to return to something that you don't or didn't want to be in. Um, I think you're feeling weak and that has caused you to go back to something that you kind of knew was not working out. But we have the Knight of, uh, Knight of Cups as well. So there could be... There's, there's, there's movement, but it's, it's kind of slow movement. It's not st strained, I guess is the word. It's resisting, uh, movement, but still movement. Like you want to move, but you aren't sure how or, um, but yeah, we have a lot of reverse cards too. So I feel like, um, I feel like we're kind of taking a step back, kind of taking a step back or returning to something that we once left. That's what I see here. So what's coming up in the near future for Pisces? Pisces near future. Ooh. That's almost wanted to pop out. We have the Ace of Wands. Good for you. And then we have the Four of Pentacles reversed. All right, so Ace of Wands is um, kind of a new, um, a new opportunity to uh, do something for you, something that you feel motivated by or something that motivates you. A, a new opportunity for growth, a new opportunity for personal growth. All right, so there is something coming in for you that um, that definitely 
um, will help you grow as an individual. And then we also have the Four of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so it looks like you stop, um, you stop clinging on to things that are not healthy. It looks like you you kind you let go. This when they see this card reversed, it's let go. Um, you kind of let go of controlling your finances um, too much. You let go. I mean, you should be in control of your finances, but you you let go of um, of being overly frugal with your finances or um, or you let go of uh, possibly a job that you decide is not for you anymore because you're gonna take this opportunity here um, so there's some there's some potential for an opportunity for growth but we again, again we have another reverse card so I feel like um, I feel like um, taking a step back is necessary um, possibly to um, in order to let go I feel like maybe you need to take a step back reassess things or um, something along those lines in order to let go to make room for this new growth that is coming in for you so let's see if we can get some advice some advice advice for Pisces Okay. One, two, okay. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Five of Pentacles reversed, actually. Five of Pentacles is it, it's time it's time to change perspective a little bit and um head you you where you feel you've been left out in the cold, it's time to walk through the door that's been open for you. So I feel like it's 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 time to uh, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. And um, you know there is like they're outside of, and I've I've talked about this before. They're they're out, they're kind of outside a church. It looks like a church, um, a welcoming place, a place that you know, is warm and inviting and they're just kind of walking right past and we have it in reverse. So for advice, I feel like the reversed version of this is to go inside, take a step inside, stop, um, stop feeling sorry for yourself because the help is there and you're just walking by and you're not accepting it. So that's the advice I get from that. And then we also have the nine. I think this came up for advice for somebody else too. Libra maybe? I feel like this came up in the reverse as advice. And the first thing I noticed was that the swords, when you put the card in reverse, the swords are right side up. So um, it's, uh, you know, it's time to, a good time to get back into a good sleeping routine. I feel like <coughs> it's, uh, you know, it's kind of an, an illusion with it like that like it's the teeth are swords um but it kind of has a different feel it just looks like it's holding the swords um and there's you know it's not it's not as it's not as um sinister looking in the reverse so i feel like you know like the sleep if you're having trouble sleeping it's time to work on that um, it's time to maybe um, improve on a sleep pattern, uh, making it a routine. Um, Nine of Swords is just kind of like something's keeping you up at night. Some things. Yeah, something's keeping you up at night. Um, but uh, for advice, I would say it's time for a new sleep routine something um maybe like not sound like a mom but a bedtime routine you know um a lot of a lot of like youtubers and bloggers and and you know it's all over instagram and anyways um all over the place you all these um morning routines and um self-care rituals in the morning and that kind of stuff but nobody really talks about having a bedtime routine um unless you're a mom and you're talking about a four-year-old right so I feel like now would be a good time to do something every night that helps you relax. It's something that makes you feel more positive before you go to sleep for the night. Um, 
you know, don't just, you know, take your makeup off, brush your teeth, put on your pajamas and go to bed. Like include something in there that's really special to you. Um, you know, whether that's um, a meditation before bed or um, going outside and just being in the moonlight for a few minutes before you go to bed. Um, there's there's a lot of things that you could really do, but making it something that's just for you um, <clears throat> will help kind of bring out that strength that is reversed right now. Okay. Um, uh, but yeah, so I feel like that's some advice that the cards have for you is to kind of zhuzh up your bedtime routine and make it something that's a little bit more special to you. Um, implement an actual bedtime. Go to bed at the same time every night. Um, it will help you. It will help literally help your physical body um, to rest. You won't be so, you know, concerned and overwhelmed with anything that's going on in your in your um in your life that you feel is not quite right that you making you feel weak and wanting to go back to something so it will literally help with your physical strength and then it'll also help with your mental strength and your your mental capacity to say fuck off basically you know i feel like that's kind of a struggle right now and if you are getting enough sleep you have the the mental clarity and um, the mental capacity to really stand your ground um, when it comes to this weakness that's kind of bringing you back into something that you've tried to leave or have already left or are thinking about leaving. Um, but yeah, so I have one more card for you. Let's see if we can get an action. Uh, what action? Action should Pisces take? Action should Pisces take? Ooh, 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 these cards are going crazy. No. One more shuffle. Shuffle, if that's what you would call it. What action should Pisces take? That's better. Hermit. <sighs> Y'all are having every reading this the same. Like, I don't understand this. Okay, the Hermit is the action to take. Um... Capricorn or Sagittarius also had this as an action action to take, just saying. Um, and it's come up in several other readings in different positions. But the Hermit, the action to take here is be alone. Take time for yourself. Go within. Seek internal validation. Um, which uh, just, that was for you. Um, that didn't come up with the Hermit card for anyone else, but for you, it is seeking internal validation. Um, so don't worry about what other people have to say or how they make you feel. It's how you make you feel, how you make yourself feel and how you feel about yourself. So um, that's what's important. But the action here is really <sighs> make yourself a priority, go within and um, yeah, just stop trying to worry about other people's drama and BS because you want to be wise like this old guy with the long ass beard right like you, you your wisdom comes from within is what I just heard so um, your wisdom comes from within so if you're feeling if you're feeling weak right now um, then you need to dig deeper and get really, really go within, um, be alone, have some, have some alone time, some solitude in order to feel your own emotions, hear your own voice and, and think your own thoughts. Uh, because I feel like, um, somebody, you know, somebody else could be out there causing you to, um, causing you to be wishy-washy, I guess would be best phrase I have for it but it looks like there is there is an opportunity coming in for you um, there is an opportunity for you to grow um, not physically but kind of spiritually not really spiritually just like internally and in some internal growth some you, you're gonna grow a pair or something you know what I mean I feel like that's the opportunity that's coming in oh that's the back of the card <laughs> Um, I was showing myself the card. So, uh, and yeah, this is also coming in. You're going to be able to let go. This ability to let go of the outcome um, comes in along with a new opportunity for some a kind of internal growth 
for you. So I would real I will repeat the advice. Um, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Get a good bedtime routine and spend some time by yourself. Uh, look within. The wisdom you seek is found within. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you uh, resonate with some of this. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe so you can win a free personal reading from me and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when the next Metaphysical Monday video comes out as well as the next set of readings. So thank you again for watching and as always have a blessed day.